Hey, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. I saw some new Sephora collection goodies online, so I decided to try them out. Um, I got one of the cream lip shines, which is basically a shiny version of their liquid lipstick. I got two of the Rouge Lacquers, which is their regular um, twist up lipstick. Like they have matte formulas and whatnot. And I got this one in two colors. Also got the color enhancing lip oil, which I'm really excited to try. The Sephora cream lip shine instead of the cream lip stain. So if you've seen my original cream lip stain video, if you have not, it's right here. If you saw that, you saw I tried on a bunch of colors and um, they just came out with this. Cream Lip Shine, which is a new collection of 10 ultra pigmented liquid lipsticks that coat your lips with an incredible shine. Okay, I'm gonna start with number three, which is the color Mauve Spirit. Uh, it looks like the number 13, that Marvelous Mauve. If you have tried this one, um, but we'll see what it feels like. talk about this for a sec? Like, I actually really like this formula. Oh my God. It feels kind of like a lip gloss um, going on, but it really isn't the same. It's It really is like a non matte liquid lipstick, like exactly what it's called, a cream lip shine. Like it's not necessarily, ah, this is so weird. I don't know, I wouldn't call it a lip gloss at all. I thought it was gonna be a lip gloss. I thought it would be like the lip gloss version of their liquid lipsticks, which I love, but it's not, it's not. It still transfers fully, so it definitely doesn't like, I'm sure it sets a little bit. It reminds me a lot of the um, ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, except without all the satin. You know, it's a little bit more um, glossy to begin with, but it's kind of the child of a lip, liquid lipstick and a lip gloss together and it actually seems like it would feather less and hold up better. If you've heard me talk about Sephora liquid lipsticks before, they're some of my favorite liquid lipsticks ever. I think the price is great. I think the texture is great. I think they last forever, but I think the formula of the shine, I didn't expect to love and I love it. And I wish I'd ordered more colors. So I think once this comes out in stores, I'm gonna get more colors. So I'm gonna start with the two Rouge lacquers and on the Sephora website, it says that it's an iconic Sephora collection lipstick now in a lacquer finish with a texture that delivers high shine color and a comfortable balm-like texture. So they're supposed to be like super silky and super satiny feeling. Okay, this is the lacquer rouge or the rouge lacquer in the color 15, which is called Not Your Baby and they call this a brownish pink. It's already like right up my alley, so let's try it on. Okay, so definitely a beautiful color, but I can already tell the formula is kind of a hot mess. It looks really nice on the lips and it also feels really nice on the lips, but um, first of all, it's already like, you know how it, it sometimes things will kind of like push against the cap and break? Like the formula is so soft. It almost reminds me of those Marc Jacobs, like the velvet um, little lip pencils that twist up. It's so soft that not only did it break in the cap, it also is kind of like melty. It's so like, smooth and soft that it's like melting and then some of it also came off onto my lip like a chunk of it came off as I was applying it and I was trying to be very light-handed with it so I don't know really pretty formula but I don't know about like the packaging and the, the it's not really easy to use like I feel like you try to use it and a lot of it would come off I don't know. we can do a little kiss test it's very um semi sheer formula so I expected this. Um, the other one wouldn't wipe off. It kind of got stuck on my hand, which is, I guess, good or bad, depending on what kind of lipstick you're looking for. So this was number 15, Not Your Baby, which is a brownish pink. Next, I'm gonna try the color 19. It's the color Stranger, which they call a blush pink. There we go, pretty color. Um, I like the first color better, number 15, which is Not Your Baby, but I don't know, I don't, I'm not really like, this is not really a life changing product. I like it, I don't love it. I don't think it's bad at all. I think that if you like um, really thin formula, slippery, um, not too pigmented, like very buildable shades, I think you might like this one. To be honest, I'm not super impressed with these. I don't really think that they're life changing. I think that if you're into these kind of lipsticks, it'd be a great type of lipstick to use. I think that they're, 
pretty and they work well, um, but the formula is so soft and mushy. And I think in this Houston heat, if I even put these in my bag, they're probably gonna melt like on site. Um, it's different from even like putting like a regular lipstick in your bag. These are like super, super mushy and soft. So um, not my best pick. I'm, I'm kind of like a neutral on this one. I don't think I have a negative or a positive review. I just think it depends what you're looking for. If you love that lightly pigmented, but still super buildable color. And if you like a really thin finish that you don't really feel on the lips, but also is prone to going places, then you will probably be okay with these. Um, I say try them out in store, swatch them, see what you think. The last one I'm gonna try on is the Color Enhancing Lip Oil, and this is one color only, so it reminds me a lot of the Clinique Black Honey. Um, if you've ever tried that, it's kind of a, a one size fits all because it enhances anyone's lip color and kind of just works with your, your own lip color to create a, a better lip color. This is probably the one I'm the most excited to try on because I'm really into those like swipe and go everyday shades because I'm just so damn lazy in the morning. Okay, let's try on this color enhancing lip oil. I'm scared. <gasps> this is right up my freaking alley. Right up my freaking alley. This is just, this reminds me so much of uh, Clinique Black Honey, which I was obsessed with for so, so long. But it's almost more buildable than that. That one was a little bit too dark for me, like right upon application, it would go on like super dark sometimes. This seems a lot more buildable and a lot more actually like oily feeling. So it feels so natural and it looks so natural. Um, it just feels like a bomb. I'm loving, loving this already. So overall, I would have to say my rating personally is number one, number two, number three. Again, it totally depends what you're going for. I'm happy with all of these. I don't think there were any that I was not happy with. Um, I just think they are definitely for different people. Like just depends what use you're looking for. Um, I think this is really, really great. This is definitely my favorite because I'm a very, very much a swipe and go type of person. I don't, I'm lazy in the mornings and I don't feel like getting ready, but I want some color as well as moisture. I don't like having to always layer stuff, even though I've, I've talked a lot about layering, like, you know, a matte color and then moisturizing on top. I would prefer not to, but I do it when I have to. This is so beautiful for when you want to make more of an impact, I think, with your shade. Um, super, super impressed with this and just the pigmentation and the fact that it doesn't feel like a gloss. It's not, it's not a gloss. It's like an actual liquid lipstick, like what you would imagine a liquid lipstick was before we were introduced to all of these matte drying lips, liquid lipsticks. Like it's literally a li lipstick in liquid form. So it's slightly shinier. To me, it doesn't feel like a lip gloss. If that's what they were aiming for, I apologize, but I don't think it is. I love it. I think um, they could do better with the shade range. With the uh, Rouge Lacquers, I liked the shade range. I think they had a lot of different options for a lot of people, but uh, personally, the formula is not for me. It's not something I see myself using a lot. Really soft. They remind me of the Marc Jacobs, um, like velvet lip pencils, which break when you use them. And, and just, it was just a mess. And I can't even imagine like putting these in my bag. I think the packaging is so cute, but they, they don't feel expensive. They looked, a little bit more expensive, but they're really like hollow plasticky. So if you're a bougie packaging person, I don't really care, but um, they're not very, they don't feel like sturdy or anything. They feel like cheap plastic. So they don't, they look nicer than they actually feel in, in your hand. I do have to say this packaging kind of looks inspired by the Fenty uh, Matte Moselle lipsticks. But so there you go. That was my Sephora collection, new in lipsticks, swatches, try on first impressions. I definitely liked all of them. I'd say uh, I couldn't find them in store. So I'd say if you want to wait, I would wait and try them on in store. I, I blind ordered these just because I wanted to make a video, but I don't recommend that. And I don't usually do that. So I would try them on in store, swatch them, see what works for your skin tone before making a purchase. If you have any questions about the product or if you want to let me know what you thought, because I'm still like undecided. Really, this is the only one I was in love with and I still really, really like this, but these I wasn't sold. So if you have a comment or a question, leave it below. Um, and if you want to see full swatches of like the whole range, I could do like all 10 of these if everyone wanted to see them. Um, I probably wouldn't do all of the Rouge Lacquers because there are so many, but with these, I'd be down to buy them all and cry and do swatches. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I do a lot of lipstick videos and Sephora favorites videos and whatnot. So please subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.